What's up guys, it's James again here with Brooke today because uh, we want to talk about something a little bit uh, more serious. So first off guys, I want to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. So it's World Mental Health Day today and they reached out to me because they want to create more awareness about something that I think affects a lot of people but we just don't talk about it and that's depression. I know that me personally, I don't believe that I struggle from depression because it is a chemical imbalance in your brain. It is not, um, you know, just feeling depressed. There's a difference between feeling depressed and depression itself. And I know that Brooke has experience with this. Um, if you want to go into detail about it, you're... Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't suffer from depression myself. You know, like James said, we all definitely have our depressive states, but mental health is something that is very important to me. My wife is incredible. We've known each other since we were 17, and we have a channel ourselves where we do talk about mental health a lot. My wife suffers from bipolar, uh, depression, and PTSD and anxiety. And there's different forms of bipolar, but the depressive side of bipolar is something that is very, very present in her life and look depression's hard it's hard to the point where there's some days that you don't even want to get out of bed and when I see people online talking about depression some people might not really know what it means I, I know this sounds crazy but I've seen people say you know just snap out of it just you know just think positive thoughts and it'll 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 go away and that's not really how it works so yeah. along with James I think it's important to kind of shed some light on it I think it's really important for people to understand that it's not something that you can just snap out of you know no amount of uh, happy thoughts or good things that happen in your life really help that. There are things that you can do to help the depression. The, the reason I made this video was to really encourage you guys, if you feel like that is something that is happening in your life and you feel that depression on a daily basis, the number one thing you need to do to help yourself is to reach out and tell someone. Yeah. Tell people that can help you and get the help that you need. We're going to put the link in the description below to BetterHelp, who sponsored this video. So BetterHelp is a consulting platform that you can contact and will give you more information regarding your depression. Statistically, over 350 million people suffer from it and not that many people are going in and getting help. And this is a very serious thing and it's not your fault, right? You need to understand that this is not, you're not weaker because you're depressed. The part that I'm very passionate about is really understanding and it's really just about being self-aware because as you understand more about yourself, you can better adjust your life accordingly. I don't care what anybody says. I believe depression can start as early as seven, five, whatever and you know even at kids growing up and if people aren't talking about it all of these complicated feelings that they're feeling and they start to self-loathe themselves because they're like I'm so sad all the time and I don't know why and everybody's trying to make me happy there's some must be something wrong with me that if they don't know it's depression they have nothing to attribute it to and how can they even adjust their life accordingly to, to right. help better live with the depression so being self-aware and talking to people who can help you kind of come come into this awareness will only set you up to be able to adjust your life because people with depression can live out absolutely normal lives. That's mm -hmm. the other thing that I want to debunk is like, you are normal. Like James said, nothing is wrong with you. You're not crazy. This is a chemical imbalance. That's not your fault. Um, and I think that's an important distinction to make is that you needing help is not, does not reflect on you yeah. in a negative way. We all need help from time to time. And this is a problem that will not go away and it will not get better unless you address it. We're going to put the link in the description below for better help. They are a consulting platform that you can contact and they will help you work through this and they will help you get the help that you need uh, and the intention that you need to address these problems with depression. And then, you know, another thing that people have to realize which BetterHelp would be helpful in doing is it's not a one-size-fit-all, right? It's mm -hmm. like not every form of depression is the same and it lives in everybody very differently. All of our chemicals and our body composition, like it all goes into how depression affects you. And what BetterHelp will do is help you identify what specifically your depression does to you, how it inhibits you, how it affects you, and what you specifically as an individual can do to change. Just because the person to the left of you, you know, figures out their depression one way or the person to the right figures out another way, doesn't mean it's going to make sense for you. And so right. you, you really have to figure out ways to cope that is right for you. You know, I mentioned earlier how depression can be so inhibiting to the point where it could literally not get you out of bed. Like my wife, there are days when she has to call in just because she can't even. But again, her bosses are very aware of her mental illness and it's a conversation that she can't be afraid to talk about because she needs to live her 
life the healthiest way that is for her. Forget everybody else. Forget what everyone else thinks. What is healthy for you? The great thing about BetterHelp is that it's an online community. So if you don't have access to get to a facility physically to help you, you can talk to these people online. And that's a really big help, especially with people that have depression. I know sometimes it can be really hard just to get out of your home because literally it's just like a mental block that won't allow you to do these little things like go to places where you can get help because you just don't see it being worthwhile or like you you can't really explain it. The great thing about BetterHelp is that it is online and so it's very easily accessible. If that's something that you're struggling with, like you're embarrassed about it, there's no reason to be embarrassed about it. It is not something that you need to hide yeah. because we all have issues. And if you're, if you know, if there are people in your lives who are making you feel bad for simply being and existing, you know, it's really important to cut that kind of toxic stuff out of your life because being in a healthy mental place is the only way that you are going to get better regardless of whatever outside help that you have. It starts within first. So it is very important to really look at your life and figure out in what, what do I have control over to set me up for success just mentally, you know? Along with James saying, you know, it's an online community, it's also very affordable, which is great and it's convenient. So um, please guys, don't be afraid. It's, you are not weak if you ask for help. We all need help. Even the most popular richest guy in the world needs help. And we're here for you, honestly. We are here for you. We are your allies, your family, and your friends. Please, please don't be afraid. Anyway, guys, we love you. Stay plugged into your community. Don't isolate yourselves. And just know that you are loved and you're not alone. With that, guys, happy World Mental Health Day. Be safe. Stay plugged into your community. And know that you're loved and you're not alone. Let's Much love, guys. Let's start the conversation.